Hey, what's up? So this question is called number of good pairs given an array of integers nums. A pair of i and j is called good if the element in the index i is equal to the element in the index j at the same time i is less than j. So let's take a look at this example. Uh, let me put it here. And these are the indexes, right? So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, oops, this is 3, 4, and 5. These are the indexes. So as you can see, the element in index 0 is equal to the element in index 2. So uh, 0, 1. So, sorry, the element in index 0 is equal to the element in the index 3. At the same time, 0 is this, then 3. This is i, and this is j. So this is the first pair we have, 0 and 3. The next pair is 0 and 4 because 1 is equal to 1 and the index 0 is less than the index 4. So this is the second pair. And the third pair is these two in index 3 and 4. They are, are, they are both equal and 3 is less than 4. So this is the third pair. Uh, the fourth pair is this number 3. So 3 in index 2 and another 3 is index 5. So 2 is less than 5 and they are both equal. So this is another pair. So here we have four pairs. So yeah, I, I think there is a simple way to calculate this. Uh, maybe you will think that you will create two loops and do that. I'm pretty sure you will have a limit time exceeded. You can use a dictionary in Python or uh, uh, a normal object in JavaScript or map, uh, the map data section in JavaScript. But I will use Python, I will use the dictionary. I will have a dictionary, call it DEC. Now our loop, the keys in my dictionary, before I loop, will be the numbers themselves, and the values will be the array of indices. I will show you why I will do it like this in a moment. So for i in range, the length of the numbers, I will check if, I, if the current number, so nums of index i, exists in my dictionary, I will do something, I will leave it pass for now, empty. Else, I will go to the dictionary. I will create a new key with the current number, and it will be equal to array with the current index. So the key is the numbers, and the values are the indices that I found this number in. So this is a really nice use of the dictionaries. That we can actually map this data structure, this array, into another uh, data structure that tells us how, the, if this value exists, what is the indexes that uh, it exists in, which is very nice. And uh, if it already exists, I will append, since this is uh, an array, right? This is an array. It will be got returned here, so I will append the current index. And let's just print that. So let's run test. So as you can see, we have a dictionary. One is, exists in 0, 3, and 4. Two exists only in 1, the index 1. And the 3 exists in 2 and 5. So this is really nice. But now to calculate the pairs or the possible pairs, we have two conditions. First one, the number of the array in the key should be more than 2. So that leaves us with, in this case, with 1 and 3. To calculate the possible number of pairs, there is actually an algorithm or like uh, a way to do it. It's this. So I honestly don't understand how we came up with this. It has something to do with factorials, but I already know that if I have a list and I want to calculate the possible number of pairs uh, I can make with this list, I will just do this. Where n is the length of the list. So let's just do it. So for p, e, and oops, value, values are uh, in dictionary.items. This will return an iteratable, and each iteration will we get we will get the current key and the current uh, value. I call it values because this is, will be a list, and I will check if the length of values is bigger than or equal to. I am interested to do my calculation. Let me define a result here. We start, we'll start from zero. Uh, 
because by default we are returning zero if there is no pairs. Now what I will do, I will get n, which will be the length of values, and result will be e plus e equal this. And at the end, let's return this. And this is actually because we need to convert it to integer. So let's do this like it really quick and it will be done. Uh, might be a simple solution, um, not that solution that you usually see in Python two lines or one line, but I highly recommend that you Google how to create a uh, possible pairs of a list. I will put a link in the description where you can read, but to be honest, I, I just memorize this because if I got asked to create a uh, I would, to give the number of possible pairs, I will just put that and I could continue. For example, in an interview. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Thank you.